Two days ago, I installed the latest test firmware, One UI 8 with Android 16 on my S25 Ultra. This is the version ZYF5. And what is different here, guys? There are probably a lot of things, but something drew my attention and I created a video for this. When you go inside the lab section, there is something called the back swipe preview, which works right now on a lot of the system menus and also uh, things like system apps, right? So if you go inside a system app, you are able to just trigger this. And then guys, there were some questions, some follow-ups. This guy here asked me, please check how the predictive back gesture behaves with one hand operation plus. And today I just opened the Samsung Galaxy Store and I've seen that there is an update on one hand operation plus. The version is 8.1.29 and they now added a system back gesture in advanced settings for One UI 8. So of course I updated this and I wanna show you guys how this works all together because I think it kind of makes sense and it really shows what Samsung are doing. They're really trying to fine tune the Android 16 experience with One UI 8. So this is the one hand operation plus. Okay, now I've limited um, the size of my handles and I can show you. So when I do something like this, I'm gonna go back. When I do something like go up, I'm going to go to my recent menu and when I swipe down, this is going to just pop up the window. And now guys, with this new version, when you go inside the advanced settings, there is also something called the system back gesture, which you can enable, right? And this is gonna work outside of the handle area. So let's say right now this is back, this is gonna be pop up, all right, you can see, and this is gonna be recent menu. But if I do something like this, if I swipe somewhere outside of my handles, then I can use both the new system back gesture from the latest ZYF5 build and use this together also with my One Hand Operation Plus. And this is kind of cool because you can combine the One Hand Operation Plus with something else. So let's say right now I'm gonna go inside my connections. If I wanna just go back, you know, this is it. This is just the standard back gesture. I can do something like this and then go to my recent menu or let's say I'm really want to do a pop-up, I do this and boom, you know, I will pop this up. And of course, you know the power of One Hand Operation Plus, guys. There are plenty of options that you can use to just configure these handles, the back key, the home key, the recent key, the menu key, and our previous tracks, toggle mute, volume up and down there. I mean, yeah, I can see, you can, you can do tons of things. But what I wanted to show you in this video is that now you can use both. So you can use this new gesture. So let's say if I want to go back and see my previous menu, I can just do it from here or here, basically anywhere else, you know, that is not that area here, which is my handle area. And of course, I can also do this from here, all right? And this should also work, by the way, inside um, the system app. So this is now my gallery, all right? Now I can do like this. Okay, it's gonna be popped up. This is a standard back. I'm gonna go to my home screen, or this will invoke my recent menu, but if I do like this, you can see guys, now this is the uh, predictive bank gesture, right? So it will show you what I have there, and this is the home screen. And this is different from a standard swipe, so let's say if I do like this, I'm not able to say anything, and I know where I'm gonna go eventually. And by the way, I know this is not a new feature, it's been around in Android for, I guess, a few years right now, but it's good to see that Samsung finally implemented this, and they did not only incorporate this new function, like system-wide, but they also integrated it with One Hand Operation Plus, which I think is kind of cool. So right now, I'm inside my browser, all right, and if I do like this, I'm just gonna go back to where I am. This is the folder, it's standard launcher, all right? But now if I do like this, you can see I'm gonna get really like just a sneak preview of what I have. And in this case, of course, is my home screen. Let's try the clock as well. So now this is gonna bring me just back to my home menu. But from here, you know, you can see I can just get around. And this is so cool, by the way. And it really shows the efforts that Samsung are undertaking to integrate Android features inside the core system Android features in One UI 8, but do also integrate this with their One Hand Operation Plus and hopefully with all the other good luck modules. Now, there was another question. This guy here, Alexei, asked me if I can check the other tiles outline in a quick panel. Uh, now it's better visibility if you have light wallpaper. So, okay, now I'm using a lighter wallpaper, all right? This is pretty much it, right? So I'm not even sure if this changed so much. Honestly, it's, this is quite readable and I really like the way it works. There are also several other things inside on the new update. And I do believe that this came from ZYF3. So for example, this whole animation here now, this whole animation is a bit more tactile now and I think it's a good change. But a whole video was really to show you the One Hand Operation Plus with this new option. And now guys, what happens when I go inside and I remove the system back gesture, right? Now you're gonna see 
this is not gonna work, right? This is not gonna work. Try to open the clock. All right, let me just stop it. You see, this thing is not gonna work. And if I go back and enable the function and go back, now this thing is gonna work. Also, it's very important for this function to work, you need to enable it system-wide from labs because when I disable it from here, right, and uh, then I go back, to the system back gesture from here, you know, nothing is gonna happen, you see? So now, I mean, one hand operation plus will not know really what you wanna do. So even if I enable this, you see, it's just gonna give me here like a normal back gesture, but it's not gonna be this predictive one. So if I want this to happen the way I want, all right, now I can go back and I can show you right now, you see, now it's gonna work. All right, guys, this was it, short video, one year eight betters, galore so let's hope more and more of them will come in the near future and of course i'm also trying to cover the test fumos thank you so much for staying here and watching this video guys stay safe vst over and bye